Hey, I'm back. Engineered Angler. I just wanted to do a quick, uh, quick tip uh, on how to prepare a weedless spoon for fishing the flats for redfish and trout. Board on top of my polling platform, you're going to need just a couple of things. You're going to need a, a good swivel. Uh, this is a Spro. Uh, I don't have the bag. Uh, you're going to need some good, uh, nice, robust split rings. These are Spro number threes. Uh, I like the Spro product. This is 50 pounds. Uh, it's kind of like a 2x strength. And you're going to need your spoon. This is uh, the Silver Minnow from Johnson Spoon. Okay. First thing you want to do is put your split ring on to your swivel. You're going to need a pair of uh, split ring pliers. Needle nose pliers will work. So first, I like to put it on the smaller item first, whether it's your hook or a swivel. So it's just a matter of getting it started. Once you got it started, you can just finish off. You can see I just, just have it started there. Go ahead and get it on the tie-on eye on your on your lure and just twist it on. There you go. That's set. Now what that does is it, it keeps your line from twisting up. These things uh, they they spin when they're in the water and being retrieved and they spin when they're being cast. So when you're throwing it out there and reeling it back, you get a bunch of line twists. So the next key element here is this, this weed guard, okay? Now lots of guys, I talk to tournament anglers and what they like to do is have it aim right at the, um, right at your hook. Now you can do it that way. Here's one issue though. If it is a little longer than your hook, you see how that is not going to allow you to get hooked up. It's just actually acting like a gate. So what you want to do, the best method that I found is to make sure is to get it out there a little ways. Okay, don't leave it like this because what happens is uh, fish will come up to go strike it and that'll hit their lip and it'll just drive it away from them. So what you want to do is reach down with a pair of uh, pliers about, I'm going to say about a quarter inch, no more than a quarter inch, and then bend it down at about a little less than 45 degree angle. And you see, now you can have, you can have this deflecting everything off, but if something grabs, they're going to get hooked. So that's key. I highly recommend that you do this with all your uh, weedless spoon, whether Johnson spoon or whatever. Um, this really works for me. I get a lot more hooks up, hookups, and a lot better hook sets. So I get a lot better hook sets with this setup this way. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps somebody. Stay tuned for more.